This is a quick guide on how to repair videos that are corrupted when Bandicam, the video recorder, the screen recorder application locks up. So as an example, we make a lot of Minecraft videos. And if you're playing Minecraft, for some reason Minecraft decides to lock up and you're using Bandicam to record that Minecraft screen, uh, when the Minecraft window locks up, Bandicam hangs up. and You can't hit the stop button, so you end up having to close Bandicam in a fairly rough way. And that video stream that was, that was being recorded kind of gets a little bit screwed up. So the next time you open Bandicam, Bandicam has a feature that says, Do you, I've noticed that there's a corrupted file here. Do you want to repair it? And in my experience, about 50% of the time, Bandicam doesn't correctly repair those files. And so um, I don't want to make that a total loss because sometimes the recording we've done is really good. And, you know, you can't just delete the file and make, remake the recording. You might have some good lines in there or maybe this, it was really entertaining. So what we've done is using a, an open source video product called FFmpeg. Let me pull up this page for it here. FFmpeg.org. This is a, uh, a cross-platform solution for, for what I'm going to use it for is for converting audio and video. And what we're going to do is with the corrupted video stream, let me pull this up here real quick. Um, the corrupted video stream, we're just going to basically take and copy the codecs, the video and the audio codec. We're not going to do any real conversion. We're just going to have it rip through the video and it gets to the end wherever it was corrupted. And obviously it's going to drop the, the corrupted frames out. And so you'll still get the majority of your video, if not all of it, up until the point where Minecraft had crashed. And you can still use that then in any of your, your um, uploading videos that you're doing to YouTube or wherever you do with your videos. So you can see here, we've got these recordings. This one's good, this one's good, and they've got the little thumbnails. This one's good, but this is the one that crashed on. But I need that because it has the audio from our recording. So if I were to try to drag this into Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere would say, hey, that's, that, that video doesn't work. And then you can see Windows doesn't like it either, and that's why it just shows the VLC player icon instead of an actual thumbnail. So let's bring up um, a command prompt here, and I'm going to show you that. I've got on the C drive, I've got FFmpeg um, installed. I believe it's under FFmpeg. So if I do a dir FFmpeg, I can see that I've just extracted it right there. And then under my videos folder, I've made two batch files, one FFM, which just sets some path statements for me, which will put the FFmpeg path in there. And then the other one, I have two different fixed vids, and I'll talk about the second one in a different video. But this one we're going to do is just called fix vid. So if I do a type fix vid dot bat, you can see that I'm running FFmpeg dash I, dash I's input, percent one is a command um, argument. So it's the first argument for a batch file. So if I say fix vid space and a file name, that file name is, the percent one is replaced with that file name. And then I'm using a dash A codec copy and a dash V codec copy. And then I'm doing the output file fixed dash and the file name I gave it. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to take the input file, copy the codecs, just shred through it, and then output it as fixed dash, whatever the, the actual name of the file was. So let me demonstrate that. So we're going to go to the D drive, and I've got my corrupted one. So if we remember right here... The corrupted one ended in 475. So if I come back to this um, and I type in uh, C fix vid, and I'm going to say Java tab complete until I get to 475 and I push enter. FFmpeg is going to run through that and it's going to just basically hit every single frame in there until it gets to the end, outputting a, a repaired or fixed version of that same file. So I'm going to pause it. Okay, so now that it has gone through the file, and you can see here it was a 12 minute, 21 second movie, and it outputted as a fixed dash Java W, and you can see here where I'm highlighting. So basically it took this original file down here and then exported it out as this. And you can see what's interesting is that the file size is almost the same, right? So I'm pretty sure that most of my frames are there. I've got three gigs, 3.036 and then 3.035 rather and then 3.036 so it's you know if it's missing some maybe it's a couple frames it doesn't really matter at least I got the video that I can then use um, for my, the rest of my project so I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about Bandicam or um, FFmpeg or how to get it to how to get it to work on your machine please leave a comment